Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another week of the Affliction Esports Review. We are now reviewing week six, and today I am joined by Boss Troll, Richard Blow, Lost, and Mr. Stand. Ready? So if y'all want to say hi, go for it. Hi. Hello. Yeah, okay. So they're here. Um, so looking at the standings is the first thing we'll take a look at, where we see that Rockport is in first place, followed by Oasis, then TSQA. And lease into your heart, the trench, lit club, CO, hibernation, TSQBB, and shots fired. So let's quickly jump into the first game, which was a 2 1 victory for Collective Odyssey over TSQBB. And here is game one. Oof. You hate to see it. Well, it's how it would be sometimes. Potato. We love you. Don't ever give up. But yeah, no, Volley Bear and the Bruisers is rough for the Bruisers. Yeah, it really is. That's playing it mildly. And we're just not going to speak about Oreo. bot lane. It's fine. <laughs> is it, though? No. I think Aphelios was a terrible pick here. I mean, so was you... Oriana. I don't think Aphelios is necessarily bad, but the support you pick with it, it has to be, like, matching with Aphelios. I think Aphelios is a terrible pick in a gold league. If that uh, probably, helps. But... Well, also, this is like from the top three champions. It's an AOE comp. Then you pick a Felios. Seraphine is still good, but... I think you lock in Jinx here instead of a Felios. Your comp is so much better. Yeah, Jinx, MF, Sivir even. Oh, yeah, MF. MF, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, then you actually have like a really good wombo going on. It's very simple to execute. You throw the ball in Hecarim. Hecarim charges. Everyone dies. I said this last week, and I'll say it again. Turbo Stainer is the best name in the league. I agree. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. So, the one thing I don't like about... Uh, Collective Odyssey is the top one, right? Yep. Yeah. I, the one thing I don't like about that comp is they have triple carry in a gold league. It worked because they won, but it's just hard for, gold, for us gold players to... um properly split the map for that type of resource spread. That's yeah. true. Kindred is having a bit of a rough time at the yeah. moment. Yes. Yeah, she's not the greatest right now, but I mean they made it work. So and I'm assuming her R actually was probably really beneficial to them. Um because they oh, could yeah, survive the fights a lot longer than they should have been able to, especially yeah. with the Kindred was, yeah. Kindred was absolutely the right decision given that this was an AoE team. Yeah. They were fighting. But yeah. he did get Flint Horizon by his other carries. <laughs> yeah. Um, TSQBB actually got their Hecarim that the young really wanted to. So. Yeah, I do love Hecarim. Hey, what's up? Yeah, Execute it worked out. Is this 0 and 10 now on Oriana or what? Uh, <laughs> I think this is 0 like 10. I think it's We're just going to try yeah. to find her first victory, okay? Let's go with Ooh. that one. Yeah. And here is game two. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't this time. Oh, wait, no! She won! Oh, she did win! Oh, wait, she actually won. Oh, wait, no. One in ten. This one in was ten. almost oh. a full salty run back. Yeah. yeah. They but just, like, changed the ADC. And uh, top laners. Oh, and too. top laners. Yeah, Potato okay. popped up. They won. Potatoes. I'm going with they pitched the Mord into the Shen because oh, that is so much not... So, so much just Hatred I, from Shen uh, towards Mordekaiser. You go to alt somebody, and suddenly you're not there. Yeah. Not to mention, you cannot split push versus a Mord. He will kill you. Yeah. And he did. Didn't 12 he times. Really had a bad team this game. Holy shit. Yeah, you're right. Shen was blind picked, and Mord was picked after that. Hey, there's a reason that's the counter pick. Worked out. Yeah. Smart well, they have blue side, so it was weird that they decided to they decided to blind pick their top laner and then give mid laner counter. What did they first pick if they have blue side? Yeah. I don't know if blue probably the, the thrash or the vein. Yeah. It was Hecarim. Mm. Oh wait, oh I thought they said. No, I thought you said yeah. they were blue side. Yeah, it was me. I picked the Hecarim and then picked the Shen. Oh, okay. oh, 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 okay. And they, and they still got Seraphine, because, okay, I just think Seraphine is probably B1, but... Yeah. She's kind of OP. 
The yeah, champ is just I just good think, in gold. I think DD7 really just wanted the Hecarim because he's never gotten no. Malaya. <laughs> hey, he played well on it, so. And, uh, you good, man? Kid yeah, good. Have a good game. Yeah, bless you. He's got COVID, guys. Yeah, oh, run away. I'm about to die. I'm sorry, everybody. Forgive me, stand ready. <laughs> I'll yeah. be honest, I don't like the Jin pick, but at the same time, they won. I just think this fortune would have been better here, again. I actually kind of disagree with that. I think the Jin pick's fine here. Just because, like, yeah, you're going to get engaged on by the, or attempted to get engaged on by pretty much everyone. But I think with the Orianna and Seraphine, you're pretty much fine to play Jin. I yeah, also, I, I think if Collective Odyssey drafts literally any consistent engage, like, Thresh is good in lane with engage, but he starts to fall off with that. And then Azir has to just fly in against a Hecarim and Mordekaiser to engage, which is yeah. a stupid idea. So literally, Collective Odyssey drafts any any consistent engage, literally anything. Jin's a terrible pick, completely invalidated. Hot take: If they had first picked the Hecarim and then the second rotation the Shen, they would have stopped this game. Uh, I think it was apparently first picked by um, Team Two. Yeah. yeah. Right on um, group. But yeah. I, I think the issue was with the Kinder Jungle. Like, uh, I don't think he's picking Rigging this comp. But... I agree. Yeah. I swear, if we go to the third game and there's another Kindred Jungle and yeah, another Oriana, this, this last game it kind of made sense, but this game it makes no sense because Azir and, and especially Vayne really need some support, and Kindred's gonna do absolutely like oh, she's just gonna oh and that's all she's gonna be able to do. Yeah, and that was game two. Moving on, game three. Kong not a Kindred, Kindred, not a Kindred, <laughs> but another Oriana. <laughs> Wait, DD7 plays Udyr? Why is he even playing Hecarim? I think he's a Hecarim man. Yeah, but Udyr's the best jungle champ in the game for like... Yeah, but if you're more long. comfortable on Hecarim, might as well pick Hecarim. Was Udyr banned also, off the game? Can you check? You don't just... Pick um, yeah, we can check real fast. Um, Udyr was not banned first rotation, and it was not banned here either. Okay. Yeah, they're just trolling. Yeah, I think like, it was just a comfort thing. Probably. Yeah. That's so Udyr, cool. uh, Hecarim has better engage, so it's either to start fights yeah. if you're like the final. Yeah, but Udyr is so fight. strong right now. Udyr is like. Udyr, Udyr is literally Udyr the is best champion. Strong, but, Udyr uh, is pick banned right now. Therapy. Just, just. That being said, yeah, I usually Udyr is not right. a front line. No. You might think he is, but he's not. You need something because he else. He runs away in the middle of the fight. So here they are just using Ash and Lulu, but in the last one, Jin would just get run over. Yeah. They picked Udyr. Because you would have, like, kited out of the fight, and then they just go, okay, let's keep going forwards. Well, also, this game, just looking at it, I mean, what is the Syndra on a four-level lead versus Ekar? Yeah. Syndra's a good I champion. Mean, you too, see, though. Syndra is one of those champions that's really, really common in pro play because of her consistency and her ability to just neutralize most mid lanes. This yeah. is a gold league. You don't need that. Literally, I think they... It worked. But literally, if either Ekar had something that could just blow up Syndra, like, I don't know if they play any assassins or not, and I don't know if assassins are good into Syndra, but literally, you blow up that Syndra, good. Syndra's worthless in that team comp. Yeah. Not to mention, the other reason you'd pick Syndra is to break dashes with their E, which challenger players can do easily. Go players, not so much. <laughs> true. I mean, they're, they're, they're they had no dashes, easy. though. Yeah, true. Sure. Uh, Another reason not to pick Syndra, and yet it worked out because uh, hey, Syndra presses buttons, people die. Yeah, the R button is still the gameplay button. Even All right, what did you want to say, Loss? Um, there's just an issue with both team comps. Like they both play triple AP topside, and it, it's just not good into like teams that actually draft a tank or anything. Like uh, I know Malphite is fine, but like Malphite, he's you know you really do want to build armor. Well, but, like. So I feel like statistically, think, uh, AP to AD ratios don't mean that much at our ELO. I mean, it doesn't mean a lot, but if like someone plays, if the Mordekaiser, I'm pretty sure we had talked about it before too, just built MR, like I'm pretty sure he's almost unkillable if the ADK didn't get ahead. Okay, so uh, yeah. you say, you know, the ratios don't matter too much in our ELO. Yeah, I want you to lock in triple AD top against a Malphite and tell me how that goes. Oh, okay. <laughs> You'll see a game versus Lit Club where they... Where you guys basically went all AD versus us. 
And we just have yeah. to go on. We'll take a look at it in a bit. Yeah, they, they did do that. Well, yeah, yeah, that's just being dumb and not banning the champion that would counter your entire comp. True. Well, I don't know what you want me to say. I didn't play against Lisa. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, moving on to game two. We actually have Lisa into your heart versus Shots Fired, which is a Lisa into oh, your heart 2 0. This is the game that broke Shots Fired. Yeah, that's my head cannon. Here it is. Here is game one. Ah, uh, yes, Victor. Well, their first mistake was leaving Udir up. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at look at the look at the assist here, and the kill participation on their support. They locked in Vayne top. I will say the Vayne top was not bad. But... Vayne is the no no no. I, I don't care how good or bad the Vayne top did. They locked in Vayne top. That is my entire problem with this team comp. <laughs> yeah, I'm in agreement with that. Yeah, they didn't they didn't like I don't know their team fighting was really uh it was it was really split up like they didn't. Fight. You can't team fight with that comp. No. You, you, you got to look at that. You, you, you can't team fight with that comp. Another you tank like Lock and Maokai, and you have a Joker Maw comp, and I don't think Leeson would have been able to win against that. Also, Lulu Kogma is so much better than Kogma like Leona. Just put Kogma uh, Lulu Blood and put an actual mid lane in there. Put Kogma Lulu, and then I don't know if Fossil Dino could have played Seraphine or not, but they would lock him. Seraph oh, Seraphine was banned. Okay, well, could there's that. Morgana. Yeah, yeah, there you go, Morgana. Morgana. You get a Jagger Maw comp, lock in a second tank top. Honestly, I think Sushwani was fine here. Yeah, I think Sushwani was great. fine. Or if you really want to play the Vayne top, because I know Solaris is mainly his like, play Lady Carries, so he's like not a real top main. You could have just played something like a set mid or something. I don't know if you play that, but it's fine into most uh, mages. Like, it's going to be bad. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah. Also, you're gonna, you're gonna uh, barrier Vayne top. Yeah, I think that's I, what most people take. Or I, I think it's actually take, right. Exhaust. Take take exhaust here. Don't take barrier. Yeah, into so Orn, I definitely if like they the get exhaust. You, you're dead anyways. Yeah, especially since on against the Orn, he has so much escape with his unstoppable for the knock up and his E just to run away. That if you take the exhaust, I feel like you have a better chance of burning him down just over time with your W passive going. Yeah. It's gonna be also good versus Kaisa and like uh, Victor because they. Walk up like oh, oh my god, yeah. exhaust is so good against Kaisa. and Udir too. So, so slows him down a little bit to just try to escape, but he's still gonna run you down. Vayne yeah. is the counter pick to Udir if you can actually pilot her. You have to be able to play Vayne, yeah. yeah, yeah. They didn't play Vayne, but they just didn't team fight well. Back yeah. in the day, plot veins were my bane, but uh, there is a difference between them. They also didn't play well against like the top one, so it was weird, yeah. yeah, yeah. Moving on, we got game two. And all right, Another I like game. the Urgot more than the Vayne, straight up. Yeah, well, yeah. he played but better I, on the Vayne, though. It, it lost really hard in lane because I think Orn is just really good into it. Orn is a terrible matchup for Urgot, but I immediately like it more than the Vayne, even though yeah, he did yeah, terribly. Definitely. Yeah, true. Especially, I I think, really... uh, sorry, go on. Sorry, sorry. Their jungler, I'm pretty sure, is new or something, but yeah. So, hadn't played in their like team before, but yeah, he only, I don't know, he just seemed to only play Sidonny. Mm -hmm. He seems to have done fine. Yeah, yeah. Lizard seemed to play all right. I mean, he had a decent CS. I mean, it's not great. I mean, it's a little bit behind, but you're Cesarani, so you're kind of expecting it. Um, oh, like only one Garner. person play, paid the Skarner tax. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I do like that Lisa into your heart is, or not Lisa, no. Shots fired is at least trying to make something happen with these cops. Yeah, they are. Right. But they're not letting their record get to them. Well, I, guess well, I think they ended up letting the record get to that. Yeah, unfortunately, but that did. We come, lost but... early game this game. Oh uh, yeah, uh, of, of course they have a pretty powerful early game comp that has good scaling power. I, what went yeah. wrong for them? Probably the Urgot. Um, they kept on losing team fights afterwards. Okay, well yeah, they 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 honestly don't really have a team fight comp. They have a one four pick comp pretty much. Yeah, yeah. but without that so, Urgot being strong, you don't even have a one four. Yeah, yeah. Urgot got destroyed. You don't have a good one for. You have a pick comp now. If and that, if you can't make really picks, Yo, can we talk you're not making this? picks against Skarner Malzahar. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Can we talk about Skarner Malzahar and the fact that can I hate you guys for, for like drafting that, seconds? but it was it's a good it's a good draft. That's a great combo. Really I mean, you draft. the Skarner them right in. Your Malzahar them are if you really need um, to. The Swain like did, could not enjoy his life. He got unalted into the Malzahar ult multiple times, and he just wouldn't buy QSS. That's so rough. You got you got to play the Skarner attacks. An AP QSS item. 
I guess they're figuring that like Banshees is that. Yeah. But okay, but then we have Knight's Edge or Edge of Night. True. True. Right. Also, you can right. Might <laughs> and there's just all yeah. Of these. Yeah. yeah or you can do the E as Skarner. Yeah. Uh, let me say though, I love the team from Listen to Your Heart. It's got Engage, it's got Peel, it's got DPS, it's got everything. Yeah, it really does. It's actually kind of gross. Yeah. I I just personally dislike uh double burn on Mausahar. I'm a I like uh Ludens. But I like big damage numbers. So I think it's good versus tanks. Yeah, I think it is too. Oh yeah, it's, yeah, it's good versus tanks. tanks. Like that. That's one hundred percent understandable. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I think double burns fine because they like a uh, stack almost. But yeah. Like, yeah, I don't I think it's bad. Think I just tell you what I prefer. Because yeah. like Urgot has the uh, stride breaker to heal. Swain's gonna naturally heal. Stride breaker to heal. Of... Yes. Yeah. yeah. Also, Urgot <laughs> is basically all health. So Devil Burn will turn him into Mush. Yeah, honestly. Did. Yeah, and moving right. on. Now we got TSQA versus Lit Club, which I believe... I mean, that was 1, 2, TSQA, 3... TSQA, it should be number 6. No, 1... So 3, 5... 3, 5, It six, should be number 6. 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, six 4, and 5, seven. 6. Did I get it right? Yeah, I did. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Well, there's no Oriana this game. Uh, yeah, let's just say Camille to Mordekaiser is not fun. No, at no, all. Not. Yeah, it really oh, is. Yeah, no, it's there's a reason yeah. the pros pick it. Holy shit, the CS numbers, though. Stand ready. What are you doing? <laughs> how? What do you mean, how? Who? Blue Chocolate had 160. If you're going to insult mine. No, the opposite. I'm complimenting it. No, you're oh, saying okay. you're 1 in 6 and then 218 CS. Yeah, no, yeah. I, yeah, I died a lot, but. Yeah, that is some Still impressive farm. CS numbers. You have yeah, a 50 CS yeah. lead in a losing matchup. That is incredible. Yeah. That's... Oh, thank you. You're too sweet. Kevin, <laughs> their jungler is level 18. Like, holy shit. Yeah, our carry yeah. the second he got strong, I'm assuming he just took his lead everywhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that dude's insane. That yeah. I'll be real. Okay. TSQ has figured out the secret sauce. Just take one of the globals and Hecarim him, and then just... Keep yeah, it really is. The Shen, the yeah. Galio, you have to ban it. You don't have a choice. Yeah, we hate playing against Galio. Uh, our mid laner can't play. Yeah, it. and the, they, they banned Udir. Uh, yeah, that's how you know they're legit. <laughs> the one though. ban I'm confused for from the side of TSQA is the Malphite ban. Because we're not going to blind that. And that makes Camille a more appealing pick, which could have been the point. Yeah, I think it was a bait. Although even then, just but at the same time, playing, them banning Malphite led me to believe because Blue Shockley's uh, at least on OP.GG is an Aurelia main. Yeah, so yeah, banned Aurelia. But I mean, even if they banned Malphite, if you just look at the comp right there, they're they're even look they're either looking for you to play another AD source so they can just build some armor, definitely. Um, or they're looking for just something that they can play safe in lane. I mean, the Malphite's not great into the Mordekaiser, I mean, obviously. But by banning it out, they got you on something that was more yeah, squishy. Yeah, the big problem ended up being, uh, so we have Seraphine Terror, which obviously doesn't do a lot of damage. And if I don't play damage, we only have a Yone, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty risky. So. Wait, he didn't go IE. Yeah, I did notice um, that. I, I, I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love sustain builds, but in this case, like, all of their hopes and dreams are in you, dog. Yeah, I, I oh, think yeah. he needs to get more damage out. Especially oh, since the Kalos would go for him. I could still do most of Caitlyn's health if I got onto her. Like, that wasn't yeah. necessarily a problem. No, no, it was I just he needed to not die to Hecarim, Mordekaiser, Galio. Oh, in that yeah, case, LJ made the right call. Yeah, I don't know if that item is ever the right call, because their, their damage profile is really heavy. Uh, I mean, it's not really heavy AP, but even Hackman does a decent amount of AP. Damage. I don't think the death, the Dead's Dance was the call here, but yeah. Yeah. I think Hydra uh, instead of Dead's Dance. But or I think we, we, we would have lost anyways. <clears throat> More than Kaiser, Hackram were too far ahead. Yeah, that's how it be. We did have a couple really good fights in this game, though, just because the power of Seraphine Taric. Yeah, it's really strong, yeah. but you have to make it work. And I mean, you made it work for a lot of it. They were able to get the lead in the end. Yeah. Anyways, 
Any, any other thoughts on this game? No. The ball lane was an uh, interesting pick by, by you guys. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, I don't know if you know this. We always have interesting bot lanes. Yes, you do. <laughs> no, and I definitely know this. That's why Serpine was a must fan. Yeah. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah, moving on. We got game two and another victory to make this a 2 out. Yeah. And all I got to say, um, man, is you got to ban this uh, this Leona on Tet. You got to respect it. Who the hell takes cleanse on Lucian? Yeah. Um, That's so troll. Yes. It's against an Echo. Just take Ignite. Oh, I no, mean, just dash Lucian out of no, it's Yeah, just dash. No, it's Lucian mid. That's Lucian mid. It's actually Lucian mid, Wait, bro. What? Wait, it's like, Lucian yeah. mid, Victor it's ADC? Like, yeah, no, it's Victor Rao bot lane. Dang. That's a flex. The barrier on Lucian and the cleanse on Victor. Yeah, I hate I all of playing. that. Yeah, yeah, no, just take no. Ignite on Lucian. You, like, yeah, the whole point go. is the win lane. That's why you play Lucian mid. Also, also why Darius? Um, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> yeah, I, I Like, that, that's about it. No, I'm also, just, like, no. playing Zach in this meta <laughs> just makes no sense. Yeah, that kind of sucks. It's garbage. Um, yo, one question. Uh, like, did you guys draft the Victor early? Like, planning it yes. to go Victor Vic, Vic, I, I think our first two picks were Victor Rel. Mm. Dang. And then it was planned to go Victor Bot, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was planned to go Victor Bot, but LGA was willing to take it mid, of course. Yeah. Then never mind. I, I'm not and I'm, I'm going to take Victor top in our next game, so... Yeah, Lit Club is willing to lose just the flex things, that's for sure. Yeah. Yes, they are. I just, why not take Look, the if there's on one thing we're going to do, it is flex. <laughs> yeah. And it shows we over will these send games. Soraka into all five roles if we have to. When you send Soraka into all five roles, we'll give you a special role called Soraka Flex Nerd. All right. I will tell Kian he needs to practice his Soraka jungle. Oh, my gosh. Perfect. Doing it. It's going to happen. My mid That's mid victory. supports mid, so um. They're, you they're know, science victories in Civ. Well, this is the Soraka victory. <laughs> Honestly, though, the next series we had was Hibernation versus Oasis, and I believe it's here. Yes, I was right. Okay, and the first thing you notice is I don't know how to say his name, but Zill. That's a fed Diego. Yeah, that is a very, very strong Diego. I think uh, I I have to imagine that they locked in Viego before Jax because locking Viego top into Jax is kind of troll. Not gonna lie. What happened in the jungle for um, HN? Man? Oh my god! Oh, oh my gosh! Outsmouth. Whoever said that this guy was gonna be good? Uh, <laughs> that would be ADHD. that would be Anthony ADHD. Ah, uh, okay. Well, we can flame him later. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna no lie. Help, I don't know what happened with uh, Hibernation because our first game was versus them too, and he played a Mumu, and yeah, it was interesting when he played a Mumu. Was it Crasp Mumu? Uh, I'm not sure what it was, but it was not something that I want to see on my team. Yeah. I will give out Schmuss this much. When you're behind on Vittle 6, there's not a whole lot you can do other than yeah, ult and just... die. You're a glorified fear bot. Pretty yeah. much. And that's how it's supposed to work, I guess. Also, like. None of those champions are gonna be like killable for fiddlesticks. Like Sivir's gonna spell shield the fear. Vega's okay. gonna one shot him. Holy Barrel one shot him. Malzahar I don't know him. if you guys will agree with this. I think Hibernation takes Misfortune instead of Ash, <laughs> and this team comp is better. Okay. There's, yeah, and more and there, would have to take there's a, a lot of like. Too, yeah. yeah, but the, it's, it's, it's like. The it's Jax is a bit of an odd one out. Like, yeah, I really don't like the Jax in this pick. Um, especially since yeah. I mean, okay, it's a good if pick it was now. A Jax counter pick two P Ego. It kind of makes sense, but Malphite's up. So, yeah, no, yeah. it's it's a little weird. I think if there's one thing, top players in this league need to do it: swallow their pride and pick Malphite. Yep, that's what my top does. Actually, Who's he can't up? play Malphite. How do you not play Malphite's the easiest champion in? The you don't. You just Yo, press Q and walk him, away. Bro, he can't ulti people when they're in front of him. That's. He doesn't have that. Yo, wait, wait. Why play Malphite top when you can play Malphite ADC? See, um, um, that is the that. question. <laughs> I know. That is the question. <laughs> and on that note, here is game right. two. Uh, okay, they locked in Aurelia, and that's straight up a problem. Don't Who play that top unless you are games. absolutely confident on it. Yeah. And it just got probably shut on by Stutz because that matchup. Oh, yeah, I know. It's a terrible matchup as well. Yeah. 
That's not a grasp, Jarvan. I'm disappointed. Oh, That's no. Nudier. He is in a game. Yeah. And I'm not also, playing. Um, Therefore, it's a bad can... idea. <laughs> Set up let's crank. Wait, yeah, yeah. Know, what is there. Senna Blitzcrank? That doesn't okay. even make sense. Okay, Senna Blitzcrank is semi-appropriate, but only in this one scenario. No. Senna's fasting, and it's full AP Blitzcrank. <laughs> you're playing with your bronze friends. <laughs> okay, As a yes. Effect, boss, now, doing that right it was now, fasting I Senna <laughs> with full AP Blitzcrank, even in, a, even in this league, you get the wow factor, you get the surprise, so that is something. <laughs> you but this the is Senna with full tank Blitzcrank. I guess All this right. is why Gunman wants to leave. Does Nami usually take Son, one? He was there. They had um, the opportunity, but they didn't what take What was it. the question about Nami? Does Nami usually take Garden? No, she doesn't. Uh, oh, I yeah, think uh, into can. a Blitzcrank, that's perfectly fine. Yeah. Into yeah. like a... Wait, why? Oh, the matter. Guardian's not going to proc if you're... It should proc on the her. on the hook hit. Yeah. So no, it, it proc should. If your AK walks up close to you when you're getting one shot. But it's not going to fucking do anything. Probably not. Hey, they won. So I mean, I do think nice. Gary probably would have been better, but in the end, it doesn't matter. They <laughs> oh, I mean, if you look at win rates, Nami's are still going Airy into Blitzcranks. <laughs> All right, yeah. I mean, it's I probably, it's probably it's a because the, the heal will just be thing. bigger. Like the heal is just bigger. If you it's probably it. just preference, and yeah, you know, yeah. true. But you know, let them do their life. Onwards, lads. Yeah. Onwards and forwards to the last series between Rockport and the transfer. Rockport shows that they're deserving that number really one spot. Here is game Man, one. Me. And we can all, all laugh right, at Sean Bear's friend list as well. I don't see a single QSS. Yeah, that's their first mistake. Yeah, okay. actually, you know what? No, nope. could... that's all we needed. That's all we need to mention about this game. There's not a single QSS on, on the trench. The Dude, yeah. the I wanted uh Bill to buy QSS, but actually he could one v one the Mordekaiser in his death room because Jinx was that bad. <laughs> it was a thing. I mean, if you can one v one the Mordekaiser, yeah, you don't need QSS. Yeah, the and, unless issue... you are literally all your team's damage and your team can't do anything without you, which in this case I think could could you guys do something without your ADC here? Never really no, no, no. Okay. But, yeah, um, if he kills the Mordecai the fast enough in this stuff. Yeah, I mean, if you kill him more fast enough and your team just bundles around you for when you come out, as long as more, uh, Echo does not get a free stun, yeah, you, you, no, you're fine. Echo got Skarner ulted, so he couldn't ult and would just die and stuff. Yeah. No, not Skarner ulted. His, if he, if he, not, not his ult, but like if Echo W's. Yeah, I know. And you get that stun off on all five people. I see no way a Tristana Alistar comp does not just wipe you. Exactly. Echo couldn't get close enough to Jinx. That was okay, well, that's that right. Perfect. Good. <laughs> nice. Also, Poppy got first picked, and so we just picked no champions with Dash. I think was first picking Poppy. Yeah. Okay, this no, is going to sound think... crazy, but every Yordle champion is technically a counter pick. <laughs> with the exception of maybe Vagar. They are all good counter picks. I feel like Vagar's no, a good counter pick because he pick. like shuts down Udyr and uh, Hecarim and Skarner. Yeah, I think Tristana's fine for first pick. Yeah, Tristana's fine. Yeah, oh, Tristana's yeah. fine. Yeah. Okay, well, either way, next game. Okay, yeah. you called for it. Game two. This game was kind That's of a Rexi. Mid game, but that is a Rexi. Yep. He's yeah. eight and eight though, so he's not even that strong. Like, no, no. She was three and like five or something. Wait, 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 wait. Before you even begin to say anything, props to Jable for having like eleven or twelve CS a minute. Like what the heck? Yeah, dude. Yeah, that it's, is four hundred and fifteen CS. It was literally I, two games where we just sat on him and let him take everything. Like that man is huge. Northwood still has more CS than Zoblander. And... Well, imagine sitting on thirty-seven thousand blue essence and not just five hundred million different champion shards. Come on. Or is that just me? I have a hundred k. Back to the game. Back to the game. So, like in this series, they swapped out their top and their jungler, and I feel yeah, like I if they had played this comp without swapping out those players, they would have done better. Yeah. Because they were really uncoordinated game two. 
Yeah, they had the right idea. They just kept getting their engages ruined by Sean yeah. and North. Yeah, I don't know what was happening, but the Nivea was fighting the Rek'Sai one on one v one so many times. It was really weird. Well, nobody was peeling her, so Rek'Sai yeah, was exactly. just on her for free. Exactly. Yeah. No one can peel her. Who oh. is there? There is no way that this mid laner should only have one death if you're playing Seraphine mid versus uh, J4 and Nivea. Like, she has to both flash almost every time J4 ganks. Like, it shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened mid this game. Until boom. Yeah. Well, maybe I mean, good job. Farm. You guys won. <laughs> All you have to do is just press R and she puts the R on then. If Seraphine doesn't flash, she just dies. Like Instantly. Yeah. Okay, one, one thing I do have a problem with. Um, your Malphite won't comment into uh, Maokai, uh, which is pointless. Yeah. 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 Like, he's um, going to stay through it. I saw the Maokai Seraphs and I was laughing because he was just so fucking strong. Yeah, yeah. Malphites. Yeah. Wait, North Malphite has Seraphs. <laughs> yeah. Okay, <laughs> there is one thing I have to disagree with. Um, that, that you are fighting a mostly... Like, okay, you do have Sivir ult, but other than that, if you kill a Nivea, they have no good way to kill a tank on the side of the trench. And North went chem tank. I think the chem tank's fine, actually, because he's going to be one of your primary sources of engage. Yeah, no, wait, 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 wait. wait. So, take. something I noticed about 30 minutes into this game is uh, look at Malkai's last item. Yes, yes, we did. Yeah, yeah I, okay. Is anybody else, does anyone else want to point out the Seraphs? Wait, Malkai went Seraphs? Question mark? Huh? I never noticed that. Dude, I noticed that like 30 minutes into the game, and uh, I pinged it, and he was like, oh yeah, I took this for fun. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. My mans is inscrutable. No one can understand him. No, he's got that that next gen strats already going for him. Tier is like tier is okay to buy on tanks now, just because it's a starting item. You can buy like after a first back, like Gragas does that, and but you don't usually build it out. But I guess he would just so ahead this game. Fun fact of the day: um, Man Immune is probably the second best item to buy on Fiora right now. Oh, I'm sure. Oh wait, this patch. Oh, this. Anyways, y'all, let's quickly get on with this. So. Yeah. That is the standings, those are the results from week one, week six, not week one. And the new segment of today's review is the unofficial all-star team. So we have all put together and thought about so a potential all-star team that we may see. Um, we will be doing all-star voting towards the end of the season, um, and we'll have an official team, but this is unofficial. So yeah, so these are grouped by role, and already we already have a... Pretty 50 50 split between Blue Chocolatey and North Wolf, but. Then that guy that put potato. Okay, um, JJ, defend your pick of potato. Uh, every time his team loses, he still manages to have eight kills. Also, He's overly aggressive. Also, no, I'll give it to him. Yeah, I'm not going to fight with you about it, but uh, we played some flex games with him, and the guy had like 25 kills in like three games straight. I think he's an insanely good player on a bad team. Yeah, I agree with that. I'll give you that. For me, it was really hard to rate players that I didn't really play against, and I don't think I'll, I don't have one player that I haven't played against here. But I just put him there because I don't know. Well, I was gonna put Bosch over Jungle, but since he will swap to support, I'm just gonna put him there because why not? Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, other than that, I just have the jungler that I don't really know too much. But he seems like a player. The only reason I didn't put the other jungler, the silver whatever. Survandafall. Survandafall guy. Um. I don't know, when we played against him, he wasn't super impressive, and he kind of, like, he was playing really aggressive damage, but didn't do anything. Like, it was really weird, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I feel like Surrender Fall is two separate players put together. He has some really yeah. good games, and then he has some really, really inconsistent games. Um, But when he does, if he manages to fix that and make all his games consistent, um, he's, I really think that he's one of the best, if not the best jungle um, in this league. Um. He just plays so well when he gets going. Um, but if he doesn't, like you said, Arcaro is definitely up there as well. Right. Yeah. And then there was oh, mid lane. Geez. Where Heat Viper is taking half and Lost is pulling out the sleeper pick. What's up with that? You know, you guys might say he's a true trick, but you know, I believe in him. You know, pulled out the victor last time. It was pretty good. He's Syndra is not bad. Like I don't think, like I know we've lost uh, like a few of our early series. We lost. I know Ross is Rockward in the trench, 
we had like a rotating loss frame at that time because uh, there were just some, I don't know, there was just not a lot of confusion. We also had uh, kind of just issues with communication. So, and even through that, I think our most like steady players were definitely our uh, jungler and our, not our jungler, sorry, our mid laner and our AD carry. And I think like, I know Razor Leaf has popped off a lot too. But I, our mid laner has popped off a lot. I think a lot of our big games wins, like versus Oasis, whatever, was probably through mid. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Fair enough. And I'm just going to say, bro, we didn't ban the Yasuo or the Yon versus LGA, and uh, there was a mid, big mid diff. Yeah. I don't know if I'd say there was big mid diff, or he literally, he literally couldn't do anything. I mean, I don't know. Our, our mid laner roamed and just roamed the map. It, it was like, top just... diff, and then. Constantly four people bought, and like I know the one game he had cast in. What's cast in gonna do? Yeah, yeah. And for anyone who didn't realize why we have Heat, Heat Viper in, or I have Jable, um, they did swap. Um, so Heat Viper is now a mid laner, and me and Richard both agree he's one to look out for. Yeah, man, he carries Rockport. Yes, he does. He makes them look good, and then when they lose, you know, he still looks all right most yeah. games. Yep. <laughs> I love how my all-star team is three-fifths TSQA. No, TSQA is a sleeper team right now. They are rising. Yeah. I don't think they're sleeper. It doesn't After show it. They bodied Rockport. I don't know. I think they have, um, I don't know, I think they're playing really well right now, but yeah. Yeah, they're definitely they're rising up. Wasted, but they didn't have Beam Salty, and I don't. And he was. Like, him and Razor, I think, are really close to AD Harry. And, and then I, I, Jibble has only played one week, so I don't know. I, I put Brosswell after one week just because I was going to put him as best jungler, anyways. It's like, I mean, uh, Jable did really well last week, but I mean, it was against the trench, so it's like, does that really mean anything? Or oh, Wow. <laughs> yeah, we lost to the trench pretty bad, but I, I mean, it was like. My god, I don't know if I should be... Yeah, there's just some, a lot of weird shit going on in that game. Yeah, I have Jable down just because even though he hasn't played a whole lot of ADC, he only played for the one week, he's so consistent in mid lane, and I think that he's going to stay consistent in ADC as well and really be a beneficial to that team. So I really think well, he'll go far. So just to put it into perspective, every single one of us were off rolling besides North Wolf, and now we're all on our main roles. Like, Jabba's an ADC main. Good luck, yo. This is Rockport's true form. Yeah, honestly. You guys were all rolling up. to give everybody a better chance. Was that what it was? No, we just... We did that because, like, that's how the roster formed. But then we all, like, realized that we were all on off rolls. <laughs> well, you heard it here first, folks. They they have now their true form. But yeah, but I, I, I didn't put Jabel... Although he, like, just completely destroyed the trench, like, 1v9, um, he hasn't been playing ADC very long, so I don't think it was fair to put him for myself. Also, uh, Listen to Your Heart Spotlight is one of the big reasons why they're doing so well. Agreed. For... Yeah. yeah. They definitely oh, are one we'll of the strongest. If, uh, we'll see if Razor is in this league after this week, bro. Yeah, yeah, he may be promoting we, quite we, soon. We'll see. Into I see this as I an absolute. To, if someone I, wants I, to pull him up, will anyone check for me? How close he is to I promoting? Asked him to play, I asked him to play. Oh, he's playing his first rank solo game today. I asked him to finish it by Thursday. Mm, okay. In case we have to get a new AD carry, so we'll probably see by Thursday. Yeah, we will find out. It'll be interesting to see if he's still going to be here. Oh, but you see, for our team, since we are a, like a university team, I have to recruit from the club too. So I'm gonna have to look for the club, like in the club. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um. Yeah. For for the club, everyone on our roster, uh, either is or has been part of the University of Toledo, except for Elpita. But he, I have, I'll have to remove him from the roster soon because he's going back home, overseas. So. Wait, what university? Oh. University of Toledo. Oh, Toledo. We're from um, University of Washington. No. Oh, well, that sucks for you. <laughs> Dang, we don't need this much flame. Yeah, but that's in Washington. We. Eh. 
That is a powerful beef. Okay. Um, yeah, Let's honestly, go. though. Yeah. And then the overall pick. So these are people from our All-Star team who we all think have either the the prospects of going and being on the All-Star team and who the, you think like is really the MVP of their perspective teams. Um, and it's actually pretty diverse. I mean, Heat Viper's shown twice, so, you know, we'll, we already talked about him and how he's really good. Um, and the Wiggy again, Mr. Lost. I gave my reasoning already for a while. Hey, you did. You're really, really I sucking did. up to this guy, though. Bro, I'm telling you, I think Razor is very good. Like, no, I, but it's not that. I just think that one of, some of the bigger games have been from mid. And, I don't know, Razor has, uh, oh, like, he has some tendencies that, yeah, like good, te- like uh, teams that like the trench and Rapport have um, kind of capitalized on in ball lane. Like I'm pretty sure, but that was also be- when we had a really weird like a jungle and jungle situation. But yeah. Mm-hmm. And because I don't want to be flamed, did we go over supports? Yeah, there's supports. Yeah, there's supports. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, true. Nah, nah, I got, I gotta, I gotta give it to Kawhi first, though. Definitely, like a top tier Enchanter support player. Honestly, I will agree. I just think Tet was one of the bigger reasons we could not at least hold bot lane on Sunday. Mm. So, Tet played Leona right twice, correct? Yeah, yeah. His Leona is really, really good. Ban Ban Tet's Leona. Yeah, do it, but don't ban Oriana. May is really good at multiple. I think she can play like I can't. I think she's scared to play her Nautilus, but you know I don't think it's really that bad. Like she's played it in like platinum leagues before. She was gold, but we played in like the Risen Ensemble League. Like uh, I don't know, it was like a season ago or something, and she played fine there. Like if she wasn't do bad. Like she played pretty well. So I think May is. I don't know. Like May is just afraid to bring out the Nautilus, but you know someday we'll see it again. Uh oh. That's the not alarm. It's coming now. That was that was the thing that we need to get going. So quickly on to the predictions. And before that, you may notice there's only four games instead of the normal five. And that is because we have our first buy this week, and that is unfortunately due to the leaving of shots fired from the league. Um I'm not exactly sure if we're having a replacement team go in there yet. I'm sure that the staff help channel has been blowing up with questions over the last. You're not. You're not. You couple hours. No. Okay. Well, if they said no, it's probably no. But oh well. Um. So TSQA does have a buy, and anyone who is going to be playing Shots Fired will have a buy on that week. Let's um, be honest here. TSQA would have two Shots Fired. Most yeah, likely. Probably. Um. But we'll never know. Um. But if you have not played Shots Fired yet. Um, it's already in the standings that um, you have a 2-0 victory, or there will be in the standings you have a 2-0 victory over them, just to make everything go smoothly, so everyone has the same amount of games. But without further ado, let's go into the first match, which is Collective Odyssey versus Rockport, which everyone but Lost, once again, says that it's a 2-0. Lost, what's up with that? You think Rockport's going to lose? No, I just think that, oh, well, yes, yeah, one game, but I don't know, I just think... Plus, well, obviously, you know, they're on a hot streak, so, you know, I think they might pull off a game. They might surprise. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's fair. Fair enough. But no chance yeah, of getting... I don't see but... like, taking a game off Rockport. <laughs> yeah, neither do I. I believe in Clock of Odyssey. It's valid. It's I believe valid. in Potato Tomato. So. <laughs> we'll get yeah. there soon. Anyways. OEM. Trench. Yeah, I'm the only one that doesn't think OAM is going to win. OAM is the only team I think is more overrated than the Trench. So, <laughs> Well, the Trench has been going on a three-game mental boom. Yeah. I would have I would have given is... OAM 2-0, but um, I, you know, I put some, uh, some of my stocks into Trench, so if they win one game, I get some value. So, yeah. I can valid. So I just want them to win one game, man. I'll be honest. I only have stocks in Liquid and TSQA, so I don't really... Oh Care. wait, I legit forgot. I only have stocks in the lit club now because I fucking because. Oh, uh, dude, that's a mistake! Oh, oh my wait, god! Yeah, yeah. I want to change that to two O if that's possible. Nah, nah, nah you're out of here. 
Yeah, no, oh too late. God. I forgot. I forgot I changed all my stocks to Lit Club. But yeah, I think I think the Trench wins this one. I mean, if they don't, they don't. But I think they do. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I think they will as no well. No matter what, though, I don't think this is a 2-0. Yeah, I agree there. Yeah. I mean, one of these teams have the work. capacity to upset the other. And who knows? Maybe the Trench will right their ship. I think this is the team to do it against. I think they need to just fix who like their starting top and junglers. Like I know you can do rotating roster like that, that's fine. But at least just have some consistency. Yeah. I feel yeah. like they don't really have any direction with their drafts, and I think Oasis yeah, like, does. So if you're picking Poppy first pick, I, I know I don't know okay, I kinda actually know a bit about their coach, but like I don't know about the Poppy first pick. No, don't don't do Poppy first pick, that's trolling. Yeah. It does that's limit cool. top pools. But then you just lock in another tank. Yeah. Anyways, uh, we'll... Club time? So... Hey, club versus hibernation. Of course I have us winning. Duh. I have us winning, too. Everyone yeah. does. Um, JJ and Dick, I think you guys are overhyping us, but I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I just believe want you guys you. to be good. Okay. I believe in you. You uh, you saying that means we're gonna lose now? Okay. No way. You're welcome. Hundred percent. Yeah, I think um, Lit Club's volley is really interesting, but uh, before this, I I was potentially before the volley switch from hibernation, I was potentially gonna put hibernation over you guys because I think like hibernation the mid, I don't think is that bad. Like I think he would have been okay against LGA, but now like with their volley changing, I'm not very confident. I think Lit Club uh Lit Club's top lane is probably definitely better because. Or top side is definitely better because um, you're so yeah. sweet. Thank you. Yeah, but because uh, I don't hibernation top side like when I played when not I played but when the team played against them was yeah it was just all over the place. So yeah, but uh yeah, I mean yeah. hibernation top side was all over the place. Yes, agreed. Yeah, yeah. I'm agreeing with that as well. I feel like you guys on the club have a good chance on this one mm -hmm. to either two or. I definitely think a 2-0 is possible. 2-1 at the I'm very gonna least. I'm going to pay them more respect than saying we're just going to 2-0 them. Yeah. See, I think you guys have it in you to do it. Uh, we have it in it in us to do it, but I I just want to give them the respect to say, okay, we're going to throw a game because we suck. I can valid. <laughs> yeah, I think if you guys come out strong and you you play disciplines and... You we don't... came out strong against OAM and then I DC'd game two like three times. Well, don't do that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you want to tell you. Other than don't do that. All right, we gotta talk about Boss Troll's betrayal in the prediction below. Oh, we do. How Anyways, do this, uh, I of course am part of the TSQBB fan club, so I have them winning. I don't know about JJ though. Listen, oh wait, I am too. But um, at least in your well, lost. You can't team. say you're gonna lose to them. Exactly. <laughs> Yes, I can. I can. I can believe in them and still think they're gonna lose. No, I believe in them. They're gonna. They're gonna two one. Okay, that's what's gonna happen. I don't know. At least in your heart, and TSQA are just probably the two best teams in my eyes because they. I think Rockport improved. and TSQA. They've improved more than anyone else in the league, and I think oh, oh for going after. most improved, yes. I think he meant after Rockport, anyways. Like, I think he's probably saying Rockport's the best. No, 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 no. He's saying Rockport's bad. No, Rockport's bad. Garbage. Yeah, see. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Terrible. Absolutely worthless. Yeah. That's why they're going to 2 0. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Hey, it worked last week. You can, in oh, fact. Okay, but now you just changed your team. Other Therapy people are going to fail. Honestly, I could see us losing a game to TSQABB. Like, I think even the game two versus shots fired, like, if our team fighting wasn't as good as it is right now, like we probably could have lost because Balling actually kind of lost pretty hard early game. Like their bush yeah. was pretty good. Like I think Tron was a fine player. Like I don't think Tron. Was Tron a fine. was a wonderful support player. He will be yeah. missed. Like, yeah, I think their Balling was pretty good. Like it was probably the most stable part of Crossfire. Oh, but... definitely. They yeah. were they were what gave us the most trouble. Yeah, Tron. If you are watching this, you will be welcome back next season. So get a team, get together. And we'll like, see I'm back pretty here. sure I curb stomped their top, and I'm pretty sure LGA curb stomped their mid, and then jungle. But their bot lane gave us trouble. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tron and Amianki 
or Amiaki, how you say it. They were a good duo. Yeah. Anyways, y'all, that is the end of this review for week six. We will see you guys for uh, next week on week seven. I'm going to leave you all with the standings, and that is it. And we will see you all later.